What's up, my brother? What's up, man? How you doing, man? I'm great, man. How you doing? You all right? I'm doing good. Brother, you played really well Thank you. against Duke. Thank I mean, you. you scored one shot, you made it, you got six assists, no turnovers. I think you had to be really proud of how you played. Uh, to be honest, man, I, I'm not in, you know me, man. I'm not I do. Man. I'm not an individual. You got Jaron Jackson syndrome. Neither one of you can ever appreciate anything you do if the team doesn't win. Yeah, I'm not in the individual stuff, man. We didn't get the job done. Um, but, you know, we got to clean up some stuff that we didn't do as well in that game. We're gonna do it. Tom, we love Matt and Josh, the Joshua, so nothing here is personal. Yeah. They got to shoot, and they're almost playing it. I asked Tom this, and he agreed with me. They get the ball sometimes, and it looks like they're afraid to shoot, like they're afraid to miss. You're a captain. Yeah. What are you saying to those guys? Get your shot up. Yeah, just shoot. Because they both shot. can shoot. Yeah, yeah. We don't We don't care. Just shoot it. You know, that's that's your job on the team, and, and that's when you're most effective for us to shoot the ball, and we don't care. And, you know, they will. They will. What do you say to them as a captain? I just tell them to keep their head up, and when they get open shots, shoot it, you know, because that's what they do for us. That's, that's how we're going to get better. We need those two guys to be better. And they definitely will be better. Did mom get to watch Champions Classic? Oh, yeah, she did. She did, man. She enjoyed the game, man. You know, we didn't come out with the win, but, you know, my family back home, they enjoyed watching. Tell me you know this. Everyone wants to win, so it is disappointing. Yes, sir. But it's far from discouraging. Oh. There, there, There is an absolute difference, and sometimes fans don't understand that. You can be disappointed. Hey, there's a part of this team that wants Duke in March, don't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Like you said, it's not about we're not discouraged. No, we're not discouraged. it's we're just not, disappointing. Yeah, it's disappointing that, that we that we played the way we played and we still could have won the game. Okay, but you know we can't we can't allow ourselves to do that. I get a, didn't get a chance to talk to you in the locker room, but I talked to everyone else. My analysis of that game was: is God bless Duke, they're a good team, good team. But they didn't beat you. You beat you. Oh yeah. And I, I mean, am I fair there? Yeah. Take nothing away from them. No, no, no. They're great team, yeah. great players, great yes, coach. Yes, we respect them. God bless yeah. them. We lost that game, man. We lost that game. And we didn't, you know, we didn't take care of the ball and we didn't rebound. At Michigan State, we don't do that. And that's unacceptable. When you lost to Middle Tennessee, I remember Tom saying, "It's hard to get angry because on that night they just beat you." Yeah. They, I mean, you guys scored a ton of points. You played. I mean, you. You guys were playing great defense, and they were just hitting shots. Yeah. But when you play a game like Duke, where you beat you, does that hurt even worse? Uh, it, de it definitely hurts more when you beat yourself, knowing that you didn't give yourself a fair chance to win the game. And, you know, you just take care of the stuff you, that, that, that you taught to do in practice and that coaches go over, and then, you know, you live with the results. And we would have put ourselves in the, in the best position to win the game, but it didn't happen. But we, we definitely learned from it. Awesome.